I'm a magnet for social climbers, fake friends, and worse liars. And they'll say, You're such a good listener. Sit back and relax while I try my dump a little while longer. You're so out of touch. Can't believe I ever believed in you so much. You're so out of touch. Can't believe I ever paid for your lunch. <laughs> Hello, darling. It's a beautiful day outside. Oh my goodness, <laughs> madame. Exciting, exciting stuff going on. So yesterday I got this crazy, just like desire to clean my entire apartment like in a new way, not just like a normal clean, <laughs> but like a crazy clean. So that's what I did. And then I decided I wanted to paint a wall in my kitchen yellow, which I did. And then I also wrote up here, Rock stars never die. Let me just show you the, what I did. Ooh, I kind of like the one y'all wall being yellow. Like it reminds me of Thailand. Slowly but surely getting my apartment together because this summer I'm going on tour. And a lot of the times I'm swapping my apartments with people. Um, so I actually have a friend here on YouTube who has this beautiful, like most amazing apartment in Berlin. And he said he wanted to swap apartments with me. When like, when we were talking about it, I was like, well, why don't I try to play a show there? And then I was like, why don't I just go on tour this summer? It doesn't have to be crazy. This is what I'm saying. Like, I'm not gonna be trying to like live in a van. I wanna do like nice little like weekends or like, I think you can really decide as an artist how you wanna live your life. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, as well as my next concert coming up in Paris is at the Sud Pigalle and I have friends to Bagan who are opening for me. So you can get those tickets down below. Super excited about that. Um, it's gonna be my second ever concert. And I'm just diving in head first. I'm like, you know what? I was born for this baby. Like I was born to perform. So might as well just like, it did take me a while to like figure out like how to do my live show to how to translate things from being like on the computer to like doing it live. But now I just wanna like keep doing it, having so much fun and meeting you guys. So yeah, definitely come to the show, um, you can have a drink after. That's gonna be one of my last Parisian dates for a while because after I'm gonna go on tour. Um, today I, I did a lot this morning. I waxed my kitchen floors. I love to use this like beeswax. It smells so good. Um, I did like some content stuff. And now I'm like, why don't you go outside with your book? I'm currently reading. All right, this is this book, Breasts and Eggs by Mieko Kawakami. She's a Japanese author. And that got recommended to me. Been enjoying that. So yeah, I was like, let's just go to the park. We will talk about following our dreams. We were talking about not letting people crush our dreams because I was thinking just about journeys and how many times in my life I could have just given up, you know? It's not gonna be one of those vlogs where I'm like, just follow your dreams, but actually really talking about real stuff. Taking you guys along with me outside. Let's go to the park. It's a beautiful day. Um, I also might stop by this antique shop I really like. So anyway, let's go out. Let's go enjoy the day. I didn't get anything at the Volcante at the antique shop. I don't really know what day they get like new stuff in, but I found so many beautiful paintings there. It's like my favorite place to find like vintage um, 
vintage paintings, vintage prints, posters. And the people there are so nice. Like sometimes they'll just give me like such discounts for no reason. Um, so yeah, love to love to walk over there on a on a sunny day. It's like right next to my old apartment, which I'm only like 20, 20 minutes walking from. So I think now I'm either gonna sit at a little cafe and get like a hot chocolate, or I'm gonna go to the park. We'll just see. I came here last summer and it started raining really hard and I was the only one in the park and so I went in this gazebo and I started singing <laughs> you know that song from the sound of music when she meets the guy in the gazebo and it was really like a moment <laughs> I love when you live somewhere and you have all these like random little memories and this is typically where we always do our meetups is on this hill, so if you've been to one, leave me a comment. <laughs> Alright, so I'm at the park and I found a cute little spot. I have a spot, spot for tulips because my grandma always loved tulips, and so whenever I see them, I think of her. And yeah, I feel kind of lucky because I live really close to one of the only parks that you can actually, you can actually sit at. Um, in the grass, which is kind of funny. Like a lot of people don't know that about Paris that a lot of the parks you're not able to sit in the grass, but I just like need this. I need this for myself. So this book I'm reading is about these two sisters. One is older and maybe like in her 50s and she has a kid, but all of a sudden she becomes obsessed with getting breast implants and she goes to visit the other sister um, who's a writer and kind of poor and they're just like trying to figure out the relationship. But always in these books about women getting older, they talk a lot about like career choices and family choices, for example. Um, you know the repercussions of having a family over your career and that kind of stuff and I maybe mean, just like think about my own life and i guess how i don't know if i ever told you guys this but i did like a full undergraduate almost i didn't get my degree i got like an associate's degree but i was almost done with like a full undergraduate before i decided to move to france and at the time, I didn't even think I was going to go back to school, but I had like a total career shift. Like I started going to school at first for creative writing and I just didn't really know what I wanted to do. Like, this is like the least best spot in the park to be good. Okay, they're leaving. It's just that little boy he like comes over and he smells the flowers and then he like stares at me and it's really awkward. I want them all to go away. <laughs> and you know what? Fuck this. I'm moving because this kid will not stop staring at me. And it's like so awkward. Whatever. I'm gonna get this. Tu as gagné. Tu as gagné. He won. That person has the right idea. I had to find a new spot. The kid ran me off. <laughs> I could only put up so much of a fight. Um, I am extremely sensitive to sounds and distractions like if I'm reading in a park and someone comes up next to me with like a boombox or even like a kid is like running around me it's like I can't focus and so I do seem to I do get like agitated by that because like I just like when everyone respects their personal space and already living in a city it's hard to find like moments of peace sometimes um, and this is a hot take, but I, 
I feel like kids should have, this might be controversial. I feel like kids should have their own designated part of the park. Because the thing is that people like take their kids to parks and just let them run free. But the problem is they end up bothering people. Like that kid, is so annoying. And I understand he's just a kid, but also like, I had to spend another 30 minutes looking for another spot just to like chill. Anyway, what was I saying? I was saying that I didn't really find like I, what I wanted to do until well until my mid 20s. And I remember like so many times growing up, even like in my teenage years, I already thought it was too late. Like I looked at somebody like, I don't know, like growing up, I love Taylor Swift, but then I looked at her and I was like, well, she started when she was like 14. So if I want to start doing music now, it's way too late. And just like in general, like I think there's like a big thing around ageism and a big thing around like, oh, well, you don't know the right people. And that's why I'm so into like the idea of whatever you want to do, figure out loopholes and ways to do it yourself. And I think like, for example, coming to France as an au pair was like the start of that for me because no one told me like how to do any of that. I just like researched online and I found out this way to come to France for free being an au pair and then like all these beautiful things happened in my life after. And so I realized like, oh, like anything you wanna do is possible, but people aren't going to just tell you that. Like you have to research it yourself. So like my big thing in life after that became like searching for loopholes. For example, when I wanted to start doing music, um, even at, like after I finished school, like I was well into like my late twenties, I, like looked up like okay how to start producing like how how do you mix a track like how do you do all this no one's gonna tell you that you know and i think like there's so much power in whatever your dream is like working your way backwards like what is your end goal like what do you want to do and then like working your way back through, through the steps and i'm really glad that like that for example through like youtube and and learning how to be a self-starter and do things it really like i think encouraged me in many ways to do everything myself for example like putting out books i just really like learning about the process of having to do something because i really love learning about the process of how to do something because i feel like it's really empowering to know that like oh no i don't have to ask permission like you don't have to ask permission to anyone to do what you want to do and people are going to tell you like oh well you need to know this person or oh you're too old for that but like actually like your age can be a really big strength because you're not maybe weighed down with the insecurities you have when you're 20 and maybe you are a bit more stable like there's it's always about perspective i feel like so don't let them crush your dreams whatever they are like i'm even like starting youtube like i started youtube pretty late like in the game quote unquote um and i'm sure people would have told me like oh it's too late to start a channel so whether that is moving to a foreign country, whether that is, I don't know, pursuing a dream late in life. For example, my mom, she just retired and she painted growing up, but then she stopped at a certain point, I think when she had kids. And knowing that she was she just retired and knowing she'd have all this time on her hands, I bought her the Artist Way book. And she's been starting to paint again and like her paintings are really good and I can see that brings her so much joy. And yeah like whatever you want to do just remember that as long as you're doing it and you're finding like that joy that beautiful like abundant feeling then i think that you're moving in the right direction and always ask yourself like what if i gave myself the opportunity because no one else is going to do it so how can i carve out ways to give myself opportunities you know i'll use someone that i know for an example because i think it's easy to say all these things but not give examples um, around music so i know this group and the other day they put out this playlist that they curated um and they actually just put all the artists that they like at the moment or who are like in the similar genre as them and like tags everyone in the stories and you know they put themselves on that playlist so obviously people are going to listen to that and hear their music as well but they gave themselves the opportunity by also like putting forward other artists you know what i mean like they put other artists on their playlist they promoted the playlist as a whole and then they also put themselves on it so it was very smart to do that and also like they're not waiting for people to discover their music they're like hey like let me 
let me figure out how to create an opportunity for myself and then also at the same time um, be encouraging to other people in like the same genre and in the same field as me. Um, and that was just like a very small example. I think that whenever you do something and you're also lifting other people up at the same time, um, then I think that it's like 10 times more powerful than just like doing something for yourself, um, whatever that dream may be. So like say you want to paint. I mean, I did this when I was right out of art school. Like I started curating shows. Like I would put myself in the shows, but I would also work on uplifting other artists around me. And so it created a community. And so I think that is a way that you can create an opportunity. That is a way that you can follow your dreams. Like I think community is so important and working with people who are in your field and finding ways to do things together because that's how you ultimately like break the systems around you of people trying to gatekeep you know like big authority figures trying to gatekeep so anyway that was a very long rant <laughs> i'm gonna go back to reading my book Alrighty, so it has been really nice taking you guys to the park with me i'm gonna end the video here um just remember do not let them crush your dreams. And if you do have a desire in your heart to do something, it's for a reason. And create those opportunities for yourself. I love you. I hope to see some of you guys at my show in May. Um, you can get the tickets down in the link down below. Um, as well as you can find me on Patreon. I do um, meetups with my Patreon community. And only with my Patreon community. Because I feel like it's like a nicer, smaller group. And I've had like meetups with everyone and it's just too much and people you never know like why people are there like you don't get to really connect um but yeah we're gonna have some patreon meetups in paris coming up soon we also have instagram creative small groups um that i just revamped um it's a nice way to like find people in your community um online and also just get like feedback from other people i know some of you guys live in small towns and might not have access to like a community um so that's a great place for that as well as we have zoom parties etc and you can also find me on instagram and tiktok and all that good stuff so have a beautiful week remember you are so loved and i will see you next time at the purple palace bye